Hi, my name is Runa. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't. Today I'll be teaching you how to draft a basic block in pattern drafting. Now we know that pattern drafting is the best way of sewing these days. If you if you don't know how to draft your body's block in pattern drafting, now this is what I'm teaching you today. Now in pattern drafting, there are basic tools. We you need your ruler, long ruler. This is, you need a long ruler. And then you need a ruler, a short ruler, you need your curb, ample curb, this can be used for your neckline curb, your ample and any curve as well. And then you can use, you, you also need a pattern master, this is not compulsory, this can serve, this can replace this one. So whichever one you have, it's fine, but if you can afford or why not, there's the one with the core pattern master, it's better than this one, I think this is a mini pattern master. Why this is your tracing, is very important, you need your fabric scissors, your paper scissors, and then your, your tape room and you will need a pattern paper now if you don't have pattern the yeah, white paper it's fine you can use make use of brown paper or any type of paper at all now what you just need is a paper that you can you can craft your body from now we have now the measurement i will be using for this but of course you need your pencil and eraser now i'm using this marker because i want it to be very very clear to you so now you need your measurements you need your shoulder measurement you need your shoulder to underboss this one is i'll be needing this one when i'm styling this one when i'm styling and you need your shoulder to underboss from your shoulder to under your boss and then you need this shoulder to underboss is you're taking it vertical then your boss pan that's from one nipple to another from one nipple to another mine is eight now shoulder to waist front now your, there is a difference between your front and your back. Now there is bust in front and you don't have bust at the back and your back is deeper. So your back and the front measurements cannot be the same. So now when you are measuring, you tie a rope on your client's waist and then measure from the tip of your, from your shoulder then to the waist. That's the natural waist of your client. You put down the measurement and then you can then go to the back, measure the person from your, from the shoulder at the back or the center bone at the back here to your waist to where the you tie the rope to so you put down your the measurement now mine is front is shoulder to waist front is 17 then shoulder to back mine is 15 so the difference is two now it can be 1.5 it can be one inch it can be three or four inches so now what now if you are not sure of it because sometimes when people get confused they'll be like i'm getting the same thing you can't get the same thing so now if you're not sure of what you're getting you just from the person's shoulder to waist you can just take out two or 1.5 that's okay then you need your then you need your shoulder to bust shoulder to uh, shoulder to okay you need your waist to hip sorry from your waist to your hip your hip is the fullest part of your the fullest part of your hip that is what you take mine is it and then you need your waist circumference now this circumference you're taking it around your waist you place your measurement around your waist then mine is 30 then your hip measurement hip circumference 40 around my hip 40 then my bust this is my bust circumference so this one i'm taking this round i'm taking this my bust round hip round waist waist round and then these other ones are vertical measurement apart from the shoulder now now i need to get this box now i need the biggest part of my measurement now the biggest part of my measurement here is 40. now your own can be bust your own measurement can be your your boss if your boss is bigger than your hip that is what you use if your waist is bigger than your hip whatever biggest whatever measurement that is biggest that's what you use to get your box so now my hip is 40 i divided it by two that's 20 so this is 20 this from here to here 20 i added one inch is that's like one inch that's 21 so this is 21 and i divided it into two and i divided it into two again so now here i will have 10 and half here you see i have 10.5 here 10.5 here so this will be half of my back half of my front that is just it so you are using half so now i'll choose one part to be my front and one other part to be my back now i'll be choosing this one as my back so this will be my center back why this will be my center front please i hope you are following okay so now i'll start with the back now for my back my shoulder now for my shoulder is 18 so 18 divided by 2 you have yeah, eh, my shoulder is 16, sorry, not 18. Shoulder is 16. 16 divided by 2, you have 8. So now my shoulder is 8. I'll put down my 8 measurement here. So this is my 8. So now, now for the back, now the standard is for this, for the back is 1 inch shoulder slope. You come down 1 inch for your shoulder slope here. So this is 1 inch. Now our back width for the neck is 3. So you mark your 3. That This is standard. 
So now when you are styling, you can come in depending on what you are doing. So the back depth, neck depth is one inch. So this is one inch. So I will just use my cup now and connect. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Just follow it. It's simple. This is the easiest body's block so far. Now I've I've learned three different types of block, but this is the easiest one. So that's what I'm teaching you. I'm, I'm teaching you. you just pay attention. Follow carefully. You can watch it again if you don't get. I'm, I can show you get it. So now I'll just connect from this point here to my shoulder slope here with a curve. Now my bust is 36. Now 36, 36 divided by now 36 divided by 6. Now my bust is 36. I want to get my bust line. My bust line to get what I'm using now is 36. 36 divided by 36 divided by 6 will give me 6. 6 plus 1 inch or plus 1.5. So it will give me 7.5. So what I'm using now, I'm using I'll place here 7.5 as my my bust line. So this is 7.5 here. So this is 7.5. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Now, if you want to get your bust line, you divide your bust measurement, divide by 6 plus 1.5. Now, my bust is divided by 6 plus 1.5. So that is what I, that's how I got 7.5 here. So this 7.5 will be my, might be my bust line. So I'll just mark here, from here to here. Now I have 8 and a half. So here to here, I'll just mark here, 8 and a half. Because I need a straight line, so I'll just connect. So this is where I'm going to put my bust measurement. So now my shoulder to waist and um, back. Now I'm using back. Not this is my back. So I will get my shoulder. This is my shoulder. Shoulder to waist. Back is 15. So this is 15. I'll mark from here to here. 15. This is my shoulder. Remember this is my shoulder. This is my shoulder. So, so 15. I'll come here. I'll mark my 15. So I'll connect, I'll square across with a straight line to here. So now this is all I need. So how, what do I do next? Now, this is my shoulder slope here. What do I have here? This is my shoulder is eight here. So I can just connect here. Just use a straight line, connect it down. Once I connect it down, I'll divide this into two. What do I have here? 7.5. So this is how I'm dividing it. I'll just divide into two and here mark. Then I'll come in 0.5. That's half inch. So this is 0.5. So this is it now. So what I'll do next is I want to create my ample now. My bust divide by uh, four. Now the, your bust circumference, my bust circumference is 36 divided by four. So I'm getting yeah. nine. So now this is my nine. This is my nine. Can you see? So this is my name. So now I will just connect now from here to this place. I'm trying to get my arm pull. So I will just connect from here. So I'm, and then connect back to my shoulder screw. You get. So this is my back. This is my back arm pull. So now, remember this is my waist. Shoulder to waist for the back is. 15. So now I want to get my I've got my bust measurement. You mean my waist measurement now? My waist is is 30. 30 divided by 4. Now you are dividing this, you are dividing your waist, your bust, your waist, and your hip by 4. So now my waist is what is 4. Uh, my waist is 30. 30 divided by 4. We have 7.5. Now 7.5. Now I'll be adding uh, my that. I'll be adding that of one inch. So the that I'll be adding is one inch. So I'll add the measurement here. So I'll add the measurement to my 7.5. So what I will get is is 8.5. So this is 8.5. So I'll just connect to my um, bust. Can you see? So this is it. Connect to my bust. So what I'll do now is to impute my, my dart measurement. Now for the dart, we'll be using our nipple to nipple. That's our bust pan. My bust pan is, is 8. Now I'll be dividing it into 2. Divide by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. So this is my four here. Can you see? This is my four. So now, remember I added one extra. So the one I'll be putting it down. I'll put half inch here and half inch here. Now I'll come down to this, my bust line here. When I come down to this bust line, I'll mark my four first of all. Again, just to be sure. So this is my four. So I'll come down one inch 
from my bust line to get to connect so i'll confirm again that it's four so yes this is four so i'll connect like this with a straight line here here and here so now this is my back now my my bodies for my back is is ready so this is what you need now there's what they call back tightening just to make your black back flatter and to avoid pork by choice now that is uh, is by choice anyway but it's very important so i'll be doing that now here i'll just come in here half inch you can do one inch but half inch is, is 50 percent back tightening so i'll connect from here to this bust line here so i'll connect like this can you see so this is it now now this one inch that i'm doing here now that i i, I mark here and i'm going to put it back because when i want to start adding my zip allowance i'll start from here so now i'll add this half inch back so this is it so remember in pattern drafting whatever you 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 take out you are replacing it back there is no there's no two way about it so you take out you put back so now this is where my back is starting from from here to here so this is fine now so now i'm done with my back what if i want to do now what i'll do next is to add my zip allowance if i want to add my zip allowance i'll start from here this part i'll start marking my one inch one inch so that is it so now we'll be moving to the front for this block now this we are done with our back this is all for the back you can see it's very simple now remember our back our back shoulder measurement is eight remember so this is eight so i'm marking the eight so i'm marking my eight now now unlike the front unlike the back i came down our back measure the back slope is one inch for the front is 1.5 that is how it is so i'll come down 1.5 so this is 1.5 so I will connect before I connect I'll mark my neck width. My neck width is three, just like the back. The width, the back and front width is the same, the depth that is different. So the back width is three inches. So and then the depth is what one and uh, three inch. So it's three by three. So I'll be using my ample curve now to connect. So can you see? So this is my front neckline. Now what I will do now is to connect from this plane now to my shoulder slope. So I'll connect to my shoulder slope. So this is it now. Now remember our, our um, shoulder to bust line. So what I have here is 8.5. So I'll come here and mark 8.5 as well. So I need a straight line here. So this is it. The, the bust line is the same thing. So I'll connect. So now this is it. So now what I did, my my bust measurement here for the back is nine. So I'll come back here too and I'll impute my nine here. I'll mark my nine. And then remember what we did to this part, our slope here. We came down straight. We came down straight. So in order to be sure, you can just mark your eight here. You can mark your eight here to be sure. Of what we are running. So, yeah. so now this is it. So now what I will do now is I'll come now for my front. Now I'm not coming up half now because you're, you're, there's bust and that we need that part deeper. So I'll come here two inches. You can come two point five, but don't go more than two point five. So this is two inches now. Unlike here, I came in, I came in here half inch. So now I came in. I'll come here and um, and um, seven and um, seven eight or one inch. So I'll come in seven point five. So this is my 7.5 so this is my 7.5 so now what i will do is i'll connect like this so this is my boss measurement and then can, can you see how how beautiful it is simple now so this is my ample for the front now remember my waist uh, shoulder to waist is 17. so i'll come here and mark my shoulder i mark my shoulder to waist now this from my shoulder to waist 17. So I'll mark here 17. So now I'll connect. So now this is my shoulder to waist for the back. Now you can see the difference between the front and the back. You can see the difference now. So this is my front and this is my back. So now so this is it. Now what I'll need now is my bust point measurement, shoulder to bust point. Now on our measurement, my shoulder to bust point is 10. So this is 10. 
I'll come here, I'll mark 10 shoulder. Remember this is our shoulder line. So I'll mark 10 here. And I'll come here. I'll mark 10. I need a straight line. So I'll mark 10 here. This this body block is the simplest, seriously, is the simplest of all that I've ever seen. And yet accurate, very, very accurate. It's not different from the rest. So this is my uh, under bust line. So let me just mark under bust. Sorry, bust point. Bust point. Okay, so this is waist. This is bust line. So now on this bust point, I'll mark my nipple to nipple. That's my bust span. My bust span is four. So this is eight divided by two. That's four. So this is four. So now I'll come down here again one inch. This is one. I'll come down one inch. So I'll confirm that on this my one inch is four. Again, if it's not four. Okay, so it's four. So now I'll come down here on my waistline. I'll mark my my the same my nipple to nipple, my bust from that's four. Remember our dad that we added half inch here, half inch that's what makes it one, half plus half one. So from here to here is one inch. So I'll connect to this point here. I'll connect here. And then I'll connect here. I'll connect here. So this is it. So now you can see now you I know you'll be wondering how what, how how will this thing align? So don't worry. So now these two inches here, this the difference between this and this is two inches. You can see the two inches now. I'm going to put it on this place. So now I'll come down from this my bust point measurement. Please don't forget, not on your bust line, bust point measurement. I'll come down here two inches. So two inches I'll connect. But before I do that, I will let me impute my waist measurement. My waist measurement is 7.5 7.5 plus one inch and uh, um, that that's 8.5 so this is 8.5 remember these are bust so i'll connect i'll connect from the waist to my bust line so now what next do i do now this is when i will now come down here two inches now the difference here the two inches i'll mark it here and then i'll connect from here like this from my bust point this is my bust point to this point so this is my back body block now if i want to make this align now the front the side because when i want to join now if i should join it like this now you know this side will be longer so now by the time by the time i sew this that now by the time i sew it i will sew the two inches then this and this side will align this when once it aligns you won't you won't have a problem anymore so now but remember that now the essence of this that is that you can move this that to this point you can move it to your shoulder, you can move it to your under bust, your, you can move it to your arm hole, you can move it to your neck, like any part of the body. That's pattern drafting for you. Being able to manipulate your touch wherever you want it to be. That is why pattern drafting is different from freehand. So now, after this video, I'll be doing the next video I'll be uploading is that transfer. So you should just subscribe if you haven't and then keep, uh, press the notification button so that when I upload it, you will see it. I'll be teaching you how to move this dance to wherever part of the body you want it to be easily without stress so this is your basic body's block and what we just do next is just to cut so this is half scale basic body block half scale once you sew this this will align now if you are doing a full scale maybe you are doing a dress that does not have a half cut so now we'll be needing your full scale so i'll be drafting these bodies from the shoulder to the hip now we are going back to the back remember our back our waist on our measurement, our waist to hip, our waist to hip measurement is, waist to hip is 8. So now, waist to hip, now I'll come here, remember this is my waist measurement, I'll mark my 8. On my back front, on my on my back uh, waist measurement, I'll mark waist to hip 8. So I'll mark 8 now, I'll connect. Now I'm teaching you how to draft a full scale body's block, so this is waist to hip. So if it's a dress, you can just extend it straight down you can just extend it down to whatever length you, you you want to but what is important is you you get your waist to hip so now i'll mark my waist to hip now my hip measurement that's the, my hip circumference for my back is my hip circumference for my back is 40 40 divided by 4 will give me 10 so this is my 10 can you see this is my 10 so i can use this or i can use my hip for whatever i want to use but i'll just use this so from this point here, I connect back. Can you see? So this is my back 
measurement. This is my back uh, bodies of waist from shoulder to hip line. Now remember we, we tighten our back by half inch. So now I'll just connect this one now back to this point. Back to this point here. Here. Just to make it now. You can see how it is now. The back is not straight. So when you sew like this, once you add your seam allowance, so you see how flat it will be at the back. You won't be seeing any puff. So this is it now. So now I'll be moving to the front now. Now my front, uh, the same waist to hip is 8, front and back waist to hip is 8. So this is my waist to hip, 8 here. So this is my 8 and then this is my 8. So and then my hip circumference is what, 10. So from my center front, I'll mark my 10. So from here, I'll connect. Here. So this is hip line. So this is hip line for the back. So can you see so now this is my body block full scale now if i want to align now don't get confused if i want to align this now i want this two to align what i will just do is to sew the that once i sew the that now the waist this way to match up with this and then everything will just match up automatically this is the reason why this back this front is longer than the back so but once you you sew it off if you don't want to sew it you don't want to bust that you can now move it to your ample you can move it to any part of you can even bring it back here you take out this part if you, have, if you want to have steel you can move it back here so wherever you want to move it to it's by choice so this is our basic body's block back and front remember to add your seam allowance now after drafting this now you can now you can also do this now for all your clients that is what i do i have my body's block for all my clients just when they come i don't have to go over this again i just do that's why you need your tracing where i just trace it out and then style whatever i want to style and i'm done with what i want to do so now i want to show you now this i told you i learned different type of body block now this is another type now this body block has the, the that is on the shoulder yet the front and the back is not the same you can see you can see that the front is still longer than the back now how now the way they did this one is this one the that now instead of being on the uh, underarm here it's on the shoulder so now this shoulder now if i want everything now to match up together now i will move this shoulder that to my underarm here i can move it to my arm hole here i can move it to my arm hole here i can move it to my arm hole i can move it to any part of the body at all i want to move it to it's the same thing. So if in case you, you see a body's block that is like you say a ah, pattern drafting you know, and see another body, this one the that is on the shoulder, you're not be like ah I the one I I know is not that one, it's the same thing. So we have body's block that the dart is on the shoulder, you have some on the under the arm, where you have some on the waistline. You see the waistline very big. I have I I, I have a textbook that their body's block is on the waistline, their dart is on the waistline very big. So that that you can now move it to wherever you want to do so pattern drafting is the same you just have different placements of the dart and the good thing is that you can easily move your dart to wherever you want it to be so now to learn how to move your dart like i said before subscribe press the notification button i will be uploading the video of of my back of my body block sorry and that's not all so now for the darts for this for the front now i'll be doing back now this is my dart for the for the back um, for the back now is five point uh, five point uh, five point five that's five and a half inch so this is it so i'll just come here and remember our four inches our four inches for our nipple to nipple as our boss palm so this is my four inches so here, i'll mark this i'll mark connect i almost forgot to add the that for this for the full skin So now this is the that remember the back i did 5.5 now for the front i'll be doing my own that now for the front it, instead of 5.5 it will be five inches so it's just 0 0.5 different so i'll confirm again that i'm on the four for my nipple to nipple is four so so now you measure from your center to the point four inches your nipple to nipple measurement so this is it you just i'll just connect now so connect like this so here our body's block it's the same it's complete now so this is all you need 
in pattern drafting to start with ever style now with this now you can manipulate this to any style seriously in pattern drafting you can sew any style you want to sew so long as you understand it perfectly so this is it so follow us on facebook at la ruby clothes like our page and on instagram at la ruby clothes now we upload i also have pictorial um, illustrations on some style so when you follow me on instagram and on facebook you'll see it thank you for watching god bless you